this is Keith Kelfis in this video, this live video real quick. I want to uh, talk about paying your bills on time and share something quick that I learned that has uh, dramatically uh, taken a lot of stress and anxiety out of my life and allowed me to make sure all my bills are paid. So maybe if you struggle with this and if you've got a million things going on and you're trying to run a small business, um, this is what I do. It might not work for you, but I just want to share it because it's helped me so much. So when bills are coming in, uh, mail, bills are due, I have just this simple little thing with my name, my wife's name, and general mail, and all the mail comes in. And then every single Monday, I call business administration day. It's where I tidy up all the most important things that need to be done, including paperwork, talking to the accountant, mailing in uh, uh, whether it's quarterly taxes, dealing with the insurance company, um, just doing all that stuff gets done on Mondays. Every single Monday that stuff gets done. And I used to try to squeeze it in in the middle of the week and then I would fall behind and I'd be scrambling to catch up. Trying to squeeze things in is the reason why we get an anxiety because we're trying to squeeze something in where it just doesn't fit, right? Imagine if a train is already moving and you're trying to like jump off the train and do something real quick and get an ice cream. I don't, I don't know, it doesn't work so well. So Mondays, I have like this expandable like party table and that's I put it down and that's where I pay all my bills. And I say, Monday's the day. So if a bill comes in or something important comes in, unless it's an urgent, which in time, the urgencies will just become unurgent. You put it in the Monday pile and you say, uh, 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 I have the freedom because I will deal with that on Monday. This is just what I do. I'm not advising you or anything. So then Monday comes, I stack up all the letters, pull out this thing. I show this in another video. This is filled with checkbooks and stamps and envelopes and stuff for paying bills and pens. I pull this out. I pull out all the mail crack open all the envelopes. A lot of people like to pay all their, there's a lot of people who like to pay all of their bills online on auto pay. I don't like to do that because I like, me personally, I like to pay all my bills manually and keep my finger on the pulse of my finances and my bills. Um, somebody, uh, a friend of mine, keeps all his bills on auto pay and he says he just knows he has to hustle his ass off and keep money coming into the the account and everything's fine because it's on auto pay it's a less work for him that's pretty smart right along with having like amazon buttons where you touch and everything shows up at your house that's another tip too i order all my groceries online and they show up on the doorstep so i don't have to go grocery shopping but anyways so i will go through i say gas phone electric rent water, cable internet, uh, vehicle payments, car insurance, taxes, then you have groceries, you have all these different things. And I've kind of talked about this in a video on my landscaping employee track channel, where you have all this stuff down and then you pick one day of the week or bi-weekly where you just hammer and you get all that trivial shit done. And then it hits automaticity to the point where you don't have to become so obsessed with it. So I'm sitting on the laptop right now and actually Monday is a breeze for me now. I just got off the phone with my accountant. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm going through gas, phone, electric, and just got different credit cards for different bank accounts for different, like, for instance, my cell phones, me and my wife's cell phones and tablets all go through my internet business as an internet business expense. And we write off a portion of uh, our house and I have an office too for uh, taxes. It's a write-off because we work, right? Uh, so a phone is a business expense, but otherwise like groceries and rent and stuff in your house, that, that's like a personal expense. So there's different bank accounts set up. I'm not gonna show you my cards, but I'll flip them upside down. There's different bank accounts set up for different purposes, which has really helped me a lot. So you can you know, funnel the money in through a business account and then pay yourself through payroll, which gets taxed. Now you can pay your personal expenses, uh, you have your business expenses and then you could do it all like that. But anyways, it's, it's hit this, this thing finally where I feel comfortable making this video because I'm by no means anywhere where I want to be yet. Like, don't we all want to be, 
you want to be a multi-millionaire, right? Sitting on a beach, chilling. But I literally just log on with all your passwords. Cell phone bill, done. Gas, done. Phone, electric, pow, 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 pow. You pay all your bills on Monday. And then also, I want to make another video. Let me know in the comments about credit scores. My credit score was shit. It was something like a 512. It was horrible. I was like 20 grand in debt bad debt uh i had gotten sued i had shit on my credit report my driving record was horrible uh all that stuff from my 20s and i've paid off i've settled a lot of it but i paid off maybe fifteen thousand in debts settled stuff and and i've learned so much about credit that now my credit's um a 737 which is a good credit score i have a 100 percent on time payment history for the past six years with zero late payments and in a couple months here, I should have uh, zero debt. And uh, like my driving record is zero points. And I'm like, how the fuck did I go from being, sorry for cussing up, such a fuck up and to, to here. And the truth is, it just takes a long time. But it's like a consistent focused habit. Um, so... Let me know if you want me to do a video about credit scores. I might do it anyways. I've learned a lot of shit where you can save a lot of money. And there's some stuff that, um, you know, I'm going to make the video anyway. So anyways, uh, let me know what you do in the comments below. If you have a specific day of the week or a time so I can read it and I can learn from it. And anybody else on this channel or this community uh, who doesn't have a specific day or time or allotted way that they take care of their finances and pay their bills. So they can learn as well. I love making these types of videos because I kind of grew up with my head up my ass. I didn't know anything. Nobody had showed me or taught me even how to balance a checkbook. I had no clue. And then when the world hit me, it hit me hard. And I was totally unprepared and I have some resentment about that. So I love making these simple types of videos because I want to reach out and help people who are willing to look and find the information. And also I got this, I finally got a bookshelf for all my books. And I'll be doing a story time with Keith. Off of this. I'm trying to end the video. Okay. Let me know in the comments.